Good, good morning. morning. Once again, it's good to be with you. Lord. Amen. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, Lord, we just give you honor, glory, and praise this morning. Lord, we just come to you humbling ourselves, God, asking that you speak to our hearts, our minds, and our spirits. And we ask that you be glorified in all things. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Amen. Well, you know, we've been dealing with, you know, um, what kind of person am I? Amen. And um, let's go to Proverbs, the 20th chapter. It says, the spirit of man is a candle Come on. of the Lord, searching all inward parts of the belly. Amen. God's spirit, if you will, um, makes an incision in us. Amen. And when we come to a place of salvation, our spirit comes to life. Amen. Uh, let me read this also to you, uh, the 21st, 4th verse. Man's goings of the Lord, how can a man understand his own ways? Amen. You know, oftentimes we run around and we, we're, 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 we don't even know ourselves. Amen. But, you know, and we, you know, we want to do one thing and we end up doing another thing. The way we really begin to understand our ways or the way that the Lord wants us to be is to yield ourselves and to submit ourselves to the Spirit. Amen. Amen. You know, and it's so important that we just pay attention to the things that God is trying to say to us, that God is trying to tell us. And you know, um, there's a there's a light within each and every one of us, and that is the Spirit of God. And so <clears throat> we have to pay attention to that. We have to, to nourish it. You know, you can have a, a burning fire on the inside, or you can have a flick of the bick. You know, and so it's important that we allow God to create a raging fire on the inside of us that our spirit and and our continents and everything about us would be a light when you when we walk into a room or when you're in the presence of other people you don't have to tell them that you're saved and you have a relationship with the Lord but they can see it on you because there's something on the inside that shines bright and so we want our spirits to shine bright in all that we do you know our spirit does need to shine bright in Psalms 18:28 it says for thou wilt light my a uh, candle the lord my god will enlighten me my our darkness you know what i mean the lord turns on the light on. amen and the candle of a man is the spirit of the lord so 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 the light that's within us is the spirit of the lord and the, and the regenerated spirit is light life and love and if we want to walk in light the light and the love then we need to be those that are regenerated of the Lord. Amen. Amen. You know, I mean, you learn to love harder, live f f harder. That's right. Live more fervent for God. You know, there was a, I remember there was a song and the words to it were, um, there is a candle uh, in every soul. Some burning brightly and some are dark and cold. Uh, but we need to carry our candle. Uh, so that the world can see it. And we, that candle needs to be lit by the Spirit of God. And the Spirit of God within us needs to keep it burning. And you know what? That's something that we have to fight to do every day. We need to fight to keep our candle burning every day. But not just burning because the candle is the, you know, the candle of man is the Spirit. Huh? It's the Spirit of the Lord dwelling within us. And it regenerates uh, the Spirit and the, of life and love within us. You know, And an ungenerated spirit is death and darkness. So we need to make sure that our spirit is regenerated on a daily basis. The Word of God says, pick up your cross daily. On a daily basis, we need to be picking up our cross and having that relationship and working on that relationship with God that, that the Spirit would allow us to be a light in all that we do and say, you know, and so it's important that we just, we push toward that and we, we check on that and we make sure of that. And God says, in all you're getting, get in understanding. We want to understand what God is trying to do with us when he wants our light to shine. That means that he needs to be shining through us. Amen. He wants people to see, uh, him in us, not us, but him in us, that light, the spirit of the living God. Amen. 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 You know, we as as little kids, we used to say, uh, "This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. I'm gonna let it shine." 
And we must really get to the place that <laughs> we let, let the, it shine. We Amen. let the light shine. There are so many people, so many Christians who are trying not to let their light shine. They're saved, but they're not living as a Christian, right? They're living carnally. But they're, they're, they're saved, but they, you know, in, in, unless you ask them, you wouldn't know. That's because they're not letting their light shine. Yeah. And God wants us to let his light shine because when we let the light shine, we lift him up. And when we lift him up, others is drawn. When we lift him up, we can live a life, a blessed life. Amen. We can live a life that like like none other and God moves on our behalf. Amen. You know, uh, like Pastor Ron was saying, we have to let our light shine. But God wants us to allow him to let the sh light shine in us. He doesn't want us to put on a facade or to try to make something happen for us so that we can get the glory. He just wants us to allow his word to permeate our hearts and our minds and our spirits that our light would shine. <clears throat> Because when we spend time with God and we're in the word of God, what you take in will come out. Amen. And so God wants us to let our light shine because we've been eating the word. We've been spending time with him. We've been having those conversations that we need to have with the Lord. We've been on our face. We've been crying a little bit. Why? Because we're getting to know his character. And the more of God that gets in us, the brighter your light shines. Amen. So like I said, we don't want to run around here with a flick of the big in and out. But you want to run around with a blazing and a roaring fire on the inside of you for the King of Kings and for the Lord of Lords. You know, it's like the ten virgins. Five of them had, had oil and, and five of them, you know, uh, didn't have enough oil and they let their light run out. Come on. We Come must on. prepare for the coming of the Lord. We must prepare to, to meet the world with the light of the Lord. Amen. Amen. And operate from a position of love, operate from a position of determination, letting the light, the love flow through us. Amen. Amen. Letting God have his way. God, 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 He's telling us that he's coming and it's coming soon. And so we have to prepare our hearts. We have to get filled up on the word. We have to be those that will walk in the truth of God and say, God, have your way. Amen. We need to walk in the light of God's word and the spirit of God's word. Amen. So we want you guys to have a blessed day, and we will see you next time at 747.